We're at Absolute Music today, Studio 11. Just wanted to run you guys through this Pro Tools HD rack that we put together for a guy. Um, we've decided to go for the Rack Mac Mini here. Um, this is by a company called Sonnet. There's actually two uh, drive bays to put Mac Minis in. We've gone for the Mac Mini server for this one in drive one. And in drive two, we've bought the bracket so you can house the super drive in there. Um, Second of all, we've got uh, air ventilation strip here. The Mac Mini gets quite hot and the Omni interface gets quite hot as well, um, which leads us on to the Omni interface. This guy has eight analog outputs, which is what we required for the spec of the build. The blank space here is gonna be for the Apollo 16, um, which this guy already has. Next up, we've got this Magma chassis, which is what we wanted to talk to you guys to today. Um, this is the Magma Robin 3 TSR. Uh, this one gives you three PCIe lanes and up to eight 2.5 inch hard drive spaces. Um, for this spec we've got the HDX1 system in here. We've also got a RAID card in here as well, a RAID card controller for these guys. Um, and we've actually created a RAID space um, on these discs as well. This quite simply just goes into the Mac Mini via Thunderbolt. Um, tests that we've run so far suggest that it's all working very smoothly. Um, it does get a little bit noisy, this guy. Um, the fan in here keeps it really, really cool though, so it's probably quite a good thing, um, especially for live. Underneath that we've got a little bit more air ventilation, we've got a, um, a UPS here which runs the whole thing uh, which tends to get a little bit hot as well but uh, this will give us about five or six minutes of runtime if there is a power cut. We thought we'd quickly show you the back for this rig as well, nothing too spectacular going on at the back, we've just got a little bit of power distribution, as you can see we've got the rear rack strips, uh, this is a eight channel radial switcher. This is going to be used on quite a big TV production, so they will have two playback systems. It doesn't matter that this is in the back because this is operated remotely. Uh, a couple of these guys are on uh, 13 amp plugs, and underneath that we've got the pack of the UPS, uh, which will power the whole thing.